Hey, this is Jeff, and today I'm going to show you some outtakes from my walkthrough of Belton's Koito Ergo Sum. These are all over the place from different episodes, but I don't want them to be completely random. I love lists. If somebody posts a video about why is Fallout so glitchy, I'll pass, but call it Top 5 Glitches in Fallout, and I'm clicking on it. So I'm going to try something new and do a Top 5 list, or actually several. Kicking things off, here's a list of my top five Koito Ergo Sum top five lists. Coming in at number five on my list of top five top five lists is... Number five. My list of top five lists. We'll start with number five. Number five. Number five on my list of top five lists is my list of... Wait. My girdle compensation algorithm prevents crashes due to infinite recursion. Thank you, Kara. Let's skip that one. We'll kick off instead with the top five effects of my lopsided character build. This whole thing started because Belthin wanted a video to show people who were having trouble finding lollipops how to get there. I had played the mod a little bit with one of my other characters, but I was locked out of some of the models because of my faction reputation, and I wanted to play it with a brand new character. I knew I wanted to put more points than usual into speech and charisma, and I already knew about the shortcut from Good Springs to the Tribal Village from years of exploring the edges of the Mojave, so that was all just good timing. Then it kind of mushroomed into a series. Uh, if I had been playing more on my own time, doing more of the vanilla quests, I probably would have struck a more practical balance with my skill points, but there was always a model or a speech challenge coming up in Koito that I needed more barter or chercher la femme or whatever, and I ended up going 12 levels without ever putting a single point in any combat skill or perk. I did eventually use intense training to raise my endurance above one so I could buy some implants. But that was actually for uh, for more charisma, I think. Uh, no toughness perk, no life giver, nothing that would help my survivability when persuasion didn't win the day. And I was kind of surprised. I mostly got away with it. Um, Second Battle of Hoover Dam might be interesting, to uh, say the least. And even just doing Koito Ergo Sum, I had a few epic fails along the way. Uh, if you saw the rest of the walkthrough, you've seen a few of them already. My personal favorite was Benny. Rule number one, Benny. Never shoot somebody in the face when you can shoot them in the back. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> and I miss. So much for my dramatic action movie one-liner. Anyway, here are the top five effects of my lopsided character build that you didn't see. Number five. Way back in episode three, I showed you how to get from Good Springs to Freeside at first level without firing a shot. Now, there are plenty of other Get to the Strip at First Level videos, but I've never seen one that used the same route I did, and they all involve some degree of combat, or at least some really dicey avoidance, so as far as I know, mine is the safest. Unfortunately, the first time I discovered how to get on top of the cliffs over Scorpion Gulch and I made it to Helios 1, I may have counted my chickens before they hatched. Alright, that's the hard part taken care of. Now we just need to get over to 95 and head north. The ants won't leave the dry lake bed unless you get really close, which I won't. There is a raider ambush on 95, but we might already be past it. Now, we're still pretty close to Novak. Uh, I think it's north of here. Yeah, in fact, I think they're probably behind that billboard. Yep, there they are. Yes, I know how to use vats. Gunslingers with melee weapons. Perfect. Come on. Oh. I really should have killed the guy with the gun first. Ah. 
Didn't have any action points. I might be a little more fragile than I thought. Number four. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of this one because I didn't think it would be interesting for people to watch me shoot sunset sarsaparilla bottles and kill geckos. Didn't occur to me that it might be amusing to see me die during the tutorial mission. <laughs> I uh, got a little too far ahead of Sunny, missed a gecko four times in vats, and I got shredded before I could get back to where she was so she could um, cover me. But I did learn a valuable lesson. Two, actually. Uh, first, record everything and edit later. And secondly, there is no enemy too weak for this character to fear. Number three. Note to self, if you ever convince a couple of gangsters that the prostitute they're looking for is already dead, don't immediately walk by them with said prostitute. Lead on. Let's go. What are these guys shooting at? Oh, Angie. Whoa, careful. Do not shoot my employees. <laughs> For me. Uh, all right, let's try that again and wait until they leave next time. Number two. One of the most unfortunate side effects of my build was that I couldn't shoot models who require you to complete dangerous quests or live in remote places like Bitter Springs or Nellis Air Force Base that I just couldn't realistically get to. Uh, I did the whole walkthrough without cheats because you know, if I was saying, well, I don't know how to do this, so I'm going to use a console command every 10 minutes, it wouldn't be a very good walkthrough. But since this isn't a how-to video, I can use God Mode to do some things I wouldn't even think about doing otherwise. So these aren't actually outtakes, they're just models I wanted to talk to, but couldn't for whatever reason. Weird, the cheat sheet doesn't say you have to do her quests, but she doesn't have the modeling option yet. Food, blankets, clothes, tools... The army used to ship out caches of supplies regularly, but with the Legion so active, we haven't gotten any in months. And where would you get new troops from? I don't know. The NCR's stretched thin as it is. I've put in requests at Camp Golf, Forlorn Hope, McCarran, but things are no better there. Maybe if their situations improved, they'd have men to spare. Or maybe they'd listen to someone with a reputation for helping the NCR. Someone like me, maybe. How are things? Thanks to your help, I think Bitter Springs has a real shot at surviving. Thank you again. Um... Good luck. Why doesn't she... Anything else I can do for you? Oh, son of a bitch. Good luck. Deanna already shot her, that's why. Hey, Gomez. You're strong, sexy, and graceful. You should pose for Lollipops magazine. You think it'd be good for business? Yes, but I think it would be even better for morale. The troops and yours, too. Yeah, what the hell? The good news is Bitter Springs wasn't a total loss. Uh, Colonel Shu gave me the safe house key when I asked for reinforcements, so at least we can shoot Gomez now. And we have an outtake from the outtake episode. Considering your voyeur fetish, did you ever think about posing for Lollipop's magazine? Yeah, every time he's watching me with binoculars. <laughs> oh, really? I'm the publisher, you see. I could make it happen for real. You know, it's expensive to strip these days. <laughs> it pays 50 caps. Done. I was really just doing the early missions to help out around Nellis because you have to finish Volari to shoot Raquel. But since Janet was willing to pose before I actually finished her quest, I figured no time like the present. Man, sounds like freaking days of our lives. Uh, if you're into soap operas, don't worry. I will introduce Janet to Jack as soon as we're done here. This isn't as cool as a bomber, but I have a functional printing press. I publish a magazine. Right. No, really. Not all outsiders are just scavengers picking over the old world. Take a look at this. Huh. Impressive. It would be even more impressive with you in it. What do you say? I'll give you this. You've got a lot of guts. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. A philosophy I'm sure you appreciate. So will you pose for me? All right. 
It actually is possible to get from East Vegas to Bitter Springs without fighting anything, but it takes a little bit of luck even if you thread the needle perfectly. Ditto for getting to the plane from Bitter Springs. Uh, getting to Nellis without taking damage is even trickier, but also possible. I just didn't have any reason to do any of that in the main walkthrough. The problem can't be fixed. It's going to be harder than ever to meet your quota. I see. Well, thank you for trying. Pose for me. You get 50 caps to supplement your water ration and an interview to speak your mind. Well, when you say it like that, all right. You don't actually have to finish Hard Luck Blues to recruit Morgan, but since she's the quest giver and you do have to finish it to recruit Anne, I figured since I was talking to her anyway, why not? And let me tell you, even in God mode, Vault 34 is a pain in the ass. Uh, if you fix the water supply, it makes Morgan's speech challenge easier. You might even bypass it, I forget. But Anne only spawns if you save the Vault Dwellers, so that's what I did. These people only spawn as a random encounter that's triggered on the road to Boulder City, so not only do you have to finish Hard Luck Blues and save the Vault Dwellers, I'm glad the troopers are smart enough not to trample But everything. you have to walk here once a day until they appear. We're heading back home. I hope our troops do the same. This land can't be saved. Trying to grow crops in this heat with so little water is bad enough, but now we've got radiation seeping into the farmlands east of New Vegas. We're done. Let the people of this hellhole deal with their problems, I say. Yeah, that was my fault. Uh, if you abandoned the sharecropper farms, shouldn't you be returning to California? Why are you here? Legion attacking so far from their bases means we'll have to watch out on the road. Hmm. That sucks. Did you know Lollipop's magazine is back in business? I'm the publisher. When I get back home, I'll tell everyone I met you. It looks like you have some time to kill. You should pose for me. Sounds fun, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, no speech check because I published so many issues. Do you know how popular it is? You'll be a star. Yeah, they'll be very jealous back in California. Cool. Let's get to the studio. It's in Mountain Springs, but I know a safe route. This is going to be great. And the really sad thing is, after all that, her magazine bonuses are just kind of average. Uh, except she's really bad for the cover because she's a complete unknown. But if you need somebody to round out a farmer's and rancher's theme issue, there you go. Did you know I publish a magazine? I'll pay you 50 caps if you pose nude for me. Uh-huh. What's the problem? Great cons usually seize an opportunity as soon as it appears. It's usually a smart move, but in this place, I can't believe you. Okay, a death claw might interrupt us. So what? That's the thrill. Do you want to live forever? Well, fuck it. I'm already exposed. <laughs> Getting to Melissa's camp with death claws guarding both approaches is no picnic, obviously. But once you have the fast travel marker, the rest of Don't Make a Beggar of Me is pretty easy. Just be sure to make the delivery. If you turn Tyrone in, she won't pose. In fact, I think she might go hostile. Anyway, uh, that's plenty of hard-to-reach models. On with the countdown. Number one. Cytogenesis. Yeah. So, I almost get trampled by bighorners just trying to get to the gate. But then I figure, it's a Belfin mod. Puzzles, dialogue with eccentric characters, smooth sailing from here, right? Not so much. <laughs> All right, this is not an appropriate time to be taking pictures. Come on, is there any cover? Sort of. All right, they must be after the stag. See if we can get behind them. Oh, excellent. I bet those are turret control terminals. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot the stag, not me. He regenerates. Shit, I need to... Oh. Four laser turrets and no cover right out of the gate. There's no excuse for getting rattled, but I was not expecting that. 
I'm assuming these have a turret control terminal in the back like the other one. Maybe if I just rush it. <laughs> or maybe not. Actually, let's go right this time. We haven't been that way. Do not stop to loot. No, see, that's what happens. Alright, some cover down here. Yeah, so far so good. Are they both dead? Yeah. Oh, those aren't. Oh. There is no cover anywhere. Oh. Alright, Eddie got those. Excellent. Okay, what's out here? Nothing. All right, quest marker is up the hill. And what is going to ambush me from those ruins? Oh, or from the main building. Well, since there's not much cover in either direction, how about straight up? There were a bunch of turrets, but at least there was that statue and some other stuff for cover, I think. Come on. Oh, it already sees me. Run, 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 run. Get behind the statue. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't cover you from both. If I can get to the building. <laughs> Apparently I wasn't the first person to try this. There's a skeleton right over there. Okay, going right worked best so far, and now that I know about the turrets in the courtyard, I can be a little more cautious after I get to the front gate. They're blocked. Oh. Oh. This is probably a bad idea. I'm going to be completely exposed. Well, at least I won't get stuck in any holes. Maybe I'll be out of their sensor range. This is going pretty well. Once again, Belthin underestimates Climbing Monkey Girl. Oh, dope. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, alright, I'm gonna jump. <laughs> I get stuck in a hole anyway. Alright, if I can make for that little shack, there might be cover. Okay, good. All right, Eddie killed that turret, so I think it's safe. No turrets in that one. Still need to be careful about the ones on the roof. Oh, damn it, did they just pop up while I wasn't looking? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's gotta be some cover behind this rubble. Yeah, here we go. And I finally remembered to hotkey my stim packs. All right. Just sneak up here. Roof turrets. That must be after the stag. Maybe there's a secret entrance in these ruins. Alright, should be safe in the back. Entrance for employees only. Door to administration. 
So, Reaver with a fat man inside, right? Hostile target detected. Oh. Protectron. Continued resistance is unlawful. Piece of cake. Well, for Eddie and the stag. Oh, Robo Brain. We'll just let them take care of that too. Security office. Could be good or bad. Oh, sentry bot. Run away! Oh, wow. Stag made short work of that. Very easy lock. No problem. What? Oh, if you can pick the hard lock, you can avoid the sentry bot. Oh, man! Didn't even have time for a stim pack. All right, I'm done. I want to do this with my other character. Maybe I'll find a better way to beat it. I'll come back and do it with this one. I mean, I could just lower the difficulty level, but I've done this whole walkthrough on very hard, and changing now would feel kind of cheap. And there you have it. The top five effects of my lopsided character build. I think this one's going to run kind of long, so that's it for this week, but I'll be back with some more outtakes and other stuff I didn't or couldn't show you in the main walkthrough. Let us know in the comments if you enjoy this kind of thing or if you'd like to see specific parts of Koito Ergo Sum that were never in a video, and I'll see you next week.